All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another FIFA 23 video. And we're actually recording this in 2023. So this is my first video I'm recording in the new year. And I think we're gonna start with a banger here. Uh, Everton Football Club yesterday got a draw with Manchester City, incredibly. And uh, I was absolutely buzzing after that draw. So I was, uh, it was my two year anniversary with my girlfriend yesterday. I had to leave uh, before the end of the game. So I was watching on my phone as I was walking into the city and I was literally fist pumping Seamus Coleman uh, Seamus Coleman tackles as I'm walking down the street. People probably thought I looked like a bit of a psychopath, but I was like, come on, Seamus, lad. <laughs> Seamus was like absolutely brilliant when he came on. Um, just all of them honestly deserve unbelievable credit. Frank Lampard included, of course. He uh, he set up brilliantly yesterday, and I thought that was one of our best performances uh, in a long time. We actually played the five at the back. Godfrey being back was, uh, was a huge bonus. He actually... He got an Erling Haaland's head big time, boys. Like, that was massive. Like, I know Haaland still scored. Everyone's like, oh, well, he still scored. But, like, he was off his game. 100%. He was rattled. And the whole Man City team were rattling the second half as well. Like, we had them we had them on the ropes there. We could have potentially won that game. I mean, we did well to get the point. Damari Gray, screamer out of nowhere. Um, I wish he would do it more often. Um, but Damari Gray, like, he does have that in his locker. He scored goals like that for us before, like against Arsenal in the last minute. And he scored a couple more absolute bangers as well. But very happy with the point and that kind of gives us a newfound confidence heading into 2023. We have Brighton at home on Tuesday, and then we have United in the Cup the weekend after. But in FIFA, we're doing a lot better than we are in real life, and we're up there uh, competing for top four. So let's see if we can continue our hot form here with a win against Leicester. Everton have recalled Ellis Sims from his loan in real life. We still have Ellis Sims here in our squad. We've been using him a little bit in the FA Cup and stuff like that. I feel bad for Ellis Sims because I feel like, you know, I would imagine he would have preferred to stay at Sunderland and, uh, and kind of progress there rather than come back and sit on the bench for Everton but maybe he will get some game time you never know with Dominic Calvert-Lewin uh with how frequent his injuries are and stuff like that uh maybe maybe Sims will actually end up starting the game against Man United uh next weekend or something we'll see what happens anyway let's jump in let's do this thing I, I assume we're bringing Ellis Sims back um because he's doing well in the championship and we were kind of looking at people like Goy Goyacares and I don't know how to say his name by the way I'm the guy from Coventry anyway I'm failing miserably um and we were looking at a couple other championship strikers, I think Ben Breherton Diaz. And Ellis Sims is kind of scoring as regularly as them. Not as regular as them, but uh, I think his goals to minute ratio is kind of similar to theirs. And like, we might as well just kind of bring him back instead of spend 15 million on uh, another championship striker. I'm guessing that was the thought process there. But we still need to sign a winger. Uh, Anthony Alanga has been talked about on loan. I think Alanga and we need one more winger. And um, that's what I think personally. But anyway, let's jump into the first game here against Leicester. Uh, apologies for the long winded intro, but just kind of wanted to do a, a cool little intro discuss or just an intro discussing what happened last night and everything like that. Uh, but we're going to we have Timo Werner to get his first start for the club here. I'm going to start Godfrey left back because Michael Enko needs a little bit of a rest. And I'm going to start Maupe up front because Calvert-Lewin needs a bit of a rest as well. And we'll put Sims on the bench there as well ahead of Timothy Way, I guess. And uh, we'll go with this team here. Um, we'll go with Patterson, Tarkovsky, Cody, Godfrey, Palinia, Onana, Uwobi, Pulisic, Mape, and Werner. So Werner's going to get his first start for the club. Let's see if we can get his first goal for the club. Thank you for all the support on this series, guys. The last video actually did really well. It like got into the search feeds a little bit, I think. Um, so I appreciate that. If there's anyone new tuning into this series, welcome on in. Make sure to subscribe, turn on your notifications. We got some banging FIFA videos coming for you in the, uh, this year. And of course, when FIFA 24 comes out, um, well, I guess, will it be called FIFA 24? I can't remember if FIFA 23 was the last FIFA or FIFA 24 will be the last FIFA. Either way, uh, we'll be covering the new footy games on on the channel no doubt about it along with the golf and everything else so thank you for the support in 2022 it was an awesome year let's get 2023 started with a win against leicester city here and uh, i'm excited about the future of the channel i'm excited about the future in general let's get it Ooh, it's it's quite snowy out here go on benjamin godfrey playing at left back he's over in the right back position now because we know godfrey can go on crazy runs we know he can look at this man go jesus christ godfrey nearly ran the whole pitch there uh, by the way guys i, I did want to say a happy new year to you all i hope you had a great uh, a great day and i hope you have a great year ahead as well i'm i'm kind of confident that 2023 is going to be the best year of my life but We'll see what happens. We'll see if we can manifest that. I hope you guys all have brilliant years ahead of you as well, and we can make it into a, a joint great year for us all. Uh-oh. 1-0 Leicester. 
Silas scores for Leicester. A little bit rusty off the rip there, unfortunately. And that's not good. <clears throat> By the way, this probably won't be out. I'm recording this on January 1st. It'll probably be out tomorrow. Uh, the match play video is going to be probably the only video I upload on the first, uh, the new match play series uh, in PGA Tour 2K23, facing off against Coxer. That should be a banger of a series as well. And I want to start posting more on the Apex on 2. I'm going to be doing the five best games for January, and that should be up yesterday as well. And... Um, of course, make sure you subscribe over there. I'm going to have a load of great playthroughs over there of non-sports games and stuff like that. So I'd highly recommend checking it out. We're going to have some banging series there. Go on, Christian Pulisic. I love how I have Pulisic and uh, Werner, two players that Lampard has managed before. He actually signed Timo Werner. Oh, what a ball. What a ball. Oh, I went for the shot. Great tackle from Tarkovsky. Important tackle there as well. All right, come on, boys. That's very effective. Good high pressing. Malpe does well. Ulicic does well, and Awobi's on the run here. It's just a little bit wider than I would have liked, unfortunately. But Awobi with a little back heel. That's saucy to Pulisic. Back post. Werner with the header. Not to be. His first touch of the, of the game, I'd say, 18 minutes in. Ah, uh, what is that, lads? Good save, Pickford. I don't know what the hell my passing is right now. My passing is awful. The snow. See what I mean? I'm passing it straight to them every single time, man. That's the third or fourth time I've done that. Cop on. I'm going to get nowhere if I'm doing that. What a ball from Awobi, though. That was sensational. Pulisic is in. Pulisic is saved. What a save by Raya, to be fair. Oh, he got out really well, but it was a poor touch by Pulisic. Should have been... A chance at least. Well, it was a chance, but it should have been Possession a goal. Oh, what a goal. In. Oh, my oh, God, it's over. Three. Thank Just goodness. Leicester all over us here, lads. Our only chance is that Pulisic chance, and that was a huge chance, to be fair, but we need to create oh, more. Oh, Nana goes wide to Pulisic, finds the main man himself. Pulisic. What a ball. That's not even who I was trying to pass it to, but unbelievable ball. Pulisic back post. Werner was coming in, but Raya... Jumps highest and claims it. Now, can Werner have an impact on this game? He hasn't really got a whole lot of Chance to chances damage. to do much yet. But that's a good ball from Werner to find Godfrey on the overlap. Godfrey, Godfrey what is that, Ben? I was trying to pass to Moppy. He's right there. One of the worst passes I've seen from Ben Godfrey. I guess that's what you get for playing a, a right foot or a left back. Pulisic finds Awobi. Awobi finds Paulinha. Brilliant play here. Paulinha to Awobi. Now Onana. They can't find a way through. Paulinha! Right at the keeper and half time 1 0 Leicester. Damn it. All right. We're getting into it a little more now, though. By the way, guys, you can get 20% off Rogue Energy. Start your 2023 right. Uh, use code DAPEX on. You'll get 20% off. I'd really appreciate it. Give it a try at least. There's no harm in trying it. Um, you can get a starter kit for as low as like 20 bucks. Try the cans if you want. Um, but I have not got a chance to use the cans yet. Unfortunately, they don't ship to EU yet. But yeah, they scored very early and we haven't been able to reply as of yet. Oh yes, Werner could have a chance to attack now. His first real chance to attack. And that's a blatant foul. Ref, what are you talking about? How is that not a foul? He absolutely ripped. He ripped him up there. Onana finds Malpe. Malpe. Onana back to Werner. Now with Werner. Werner cuts inside. Timo Werner goes for it. Saved by Raya. I should have gone the opposite side of him, but... Oh, it's a chance. Werner does well there. No, come on, Onana. That's a terrible touch. Werner intercepts, though, beautifully. And that's a blatant... Fight. That's a red card, ref. What is he doing? It was a Verdi. Send him off, ref. That's a red. Get out of here, Vardy, you scumbag. It's completely unnecessary. That was similar to Haaland's one. And Werner could be injured here. Look at that horror chat. What is he doing? What are you doing, Jamie? What a scumbag. I think Werner's okay, is he? I should go attacking now, though, for sure. Now they have 10 men. I'm going attacking. 
and I'm gonna light this shit up. We'll make a couple changes here. I'm gonna bring on Mohamed Kudus. I'm gonna bring on Mikhailo Mudrik, and uh, I'm going to bring on Ellis Sims. Ellis Sims is gonna make the difference here. Watch and learn, boys. This is how it's done. Triple substitution on 55 well, minutes. We're going for it. We're going all out for the shit. It's 10 men last I'm going for the win. Here's Kudus. Oh, Nana. Now, now Werner. 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 Oh! <laughs> Don't know how he didn't get through with that. Yes, Connor. Yes, Connor Cody. You beautiful man. That's a bad ball from Werner, though. Come on, lads. 10 men Leicester here. We need to get the dub. Need to get the equalizer ASAP and then get get on them and get the W. Come on! This is a golden opportunity here. We can't let this slide. As he's making a run now. Werner tries to find Mudrik, but he can't get it through there. For fuck's sake, Nathan. Yes, Tarkovsky. That's a big, strong defensive play there. Pickford hoofs it upfield and Kudus wins the ball. Godfrey finds Werner. Werner through for the Ellis Sims. I told you he's going to make the difference, can he? Yes, he does. Ellis Sims. He's recalled from loan in real life. He's scoring goals for us here in FIFA 22. Ellis Sims is the difference. Bang. And now I told you we're going to go for that win. I'm going to go for the win, baby. Well, the Werner with a beautiful little assist there. And, and that is absolutely gorgeous. Paulinho for Garner. Yes, that's a good attacking substitution there. I feel like Garner is a little bit more attacking than Paulinho. And we'll, we'll go for the shit. Keeper Raya has done so well all game. But that's right at him. Right at him. And he doesn't, uh, he doesn't save it. So that was poor from him. I got to be honest with you. That was quite poor from him. And Garner's on for Paulinho. All right, do I go to two up top now is the question. Okay. Oh no, don't do this. What a bloody block from Connor Cody. Excellent from Connor Cody. And now Mikhailo Mudrik on the break. Can Everton win this? Oh. Great tackle, to be fair. Great tackle. Brilliant. Ellis Sims. Oh no. Oh, come on. We can win this. We can win this. This would be a massive W. Werner! Oh, it's over the bar. Timo Werner. Frank Lampard can hardly believe it. Oh. All right. Probably last one of... There's going to be one more chance for either side. I don't know who it will be yet. Oh, my God. What a ball. What a ball. What a tackle by Tarkovsky. Mudrik finds Sims, who finds Kudus. Terrible touch from Kudus. And that is going to be that, I think. For us, at least. We need to defend diligently here. Connor Cody does so. What are you doing, Connor? Oh, thank God for that. All right, one more. No, that's game. All right. I have to settle for a point, unfortunately. We came from behind to draw the game, but I would have loved the win there against 10 man Leicester. But a draw isn't the worst result in the world there. It ain't the worst result on legendary difficulty, of course. Leicester, um, probably mid-table there as well, so not bad. We'll settle for the draw. It was a pretty even game up until the red card. We started taking over um, once the red card happened, but overall an even game. Ella Sims was man of the match despite coming on uh, very late on. He was uh, the equaliser, of course. And we have uh, Burnley in the FA Cup next up as well, so... Uh, then we have Chelsea at home in the cup. Two home, uh, two cup games. No, Ellis Sims is leaving on loan. Shit, I forgot about that. <laughs> Damn it. Now I do need to sign a replacement. I think Ellis Sims might be leaving. Oh, he's leaving on a free transfer. He's gone. Oh, shit. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, because I wasn't. He, uh, he's made a pre-agreement. He's still going to be with us. But he's made a pre-agreement. Why didn't he just leave now then? Oh, because his contract's not up yet. Damn it. Could I offer him a new contract now and he'd stay? I'm not sure. Because I don't want to sign, a, like, I don't need to sign, like, a top, top striker. But I didn't realize he was Swedish as well. So the two players we're linked with in real life are Swedish. Jalanga and Girakis. I'm going to ask my friend Alex how to pronounce this fucking name. All right, so it's Gokres. That's how they say it in Sweden, apparently. All right, Gokres. Um, now, I should probably wait and, and wait for the scout report before we uh, do anything further with him. I was just hoping to maybe start start one of them in this game against Burnley.
but I can start Mape. It's fine. All right, Burnley versus Everton FA Cup round of 32. We're still in both cups. We have the second leg against Chelsea in the next game as well. So uh, we got to we got to rest some players here, and I'm going to do just that. I'm going to put Holgate in there. I'm going to put. Jeez, I might start Holgate center back honestly along with godfrey i know godfrey's tired but uh godfrey won't be playing the game against chelsea i guess well actually he might be i'm gonna start cody i'm gonna start cody and holgate and i'll start godfrey in the chelsea game and i'm gonna start carol hein all right so this is the team we're going with hein john holgate cody michaelenko garner guy kudus mudrick mape timothy way all right that looks good to me get it and i want sims on the bench as well Put Nkunku on the bench instead of Patterson. Fuck it. All right, let's go. Here we go. We want to stay in the FA Cup if we can. And joining me All right, boys. Let's Watson. get a dub here. Got to draw in the first game. Let's get a win here. Let's get through in both cups. That would be massive. We'd be into the Carabao Cup final if we beat Chelsea. Obviously, I'd rather win the Chelsea game, but it's important to stay in the FA Cup as well. No doubt in there, the underdogs. Damn right, they're the underdogs, but Timothy Weah storms forward early. Let's... Hopefully Make them keep their underdog time. status and Maybe take the lead early pass. here. Oh, what a ball from Ganagay, but well, Mape can't keep, keep it under control. Kudus! 1-0! An early goal for Everton. That was a killer. It was beautiful. Beautifully dispatched by Mohamed Kudus. Hopefully Everton sign him in real life because we need a goal scorer like him. Uh, a difference maker like him. Beautiful stuff from Mohamed Kudus. Well done, son. Well done. To make amends. Oh, ref. Disgraceful no challenge, challenge again. They're filthy the bastards, these lads. Well, All right. Really want to be picking up a caution, so All good. The game, well, he's going to be under pressure now. That was a wreck. Connor Cody. Didn't need to make it at all. Go on, lad. Yes. Yes, the boy, Connor. Well, what Timothy Weir does well. Goes for it. Oh, what a goal by Timothy Weir. Unbelievable stuff. Oh, that didn't look like it had that much power on it, but I think the placement was just absolutely precise and there was nothing that anyone could do about it. Timothy Weah makes it 2-0 Everton within 20 minutes. Look at this. There's not that much power on it, but it's just in the right position. Keeper should save it. Keeper should save it, I think. But hell of a goal. Frank Lampard loves it. The Toffees love it. Lewis Dobbin and Ella Sims celebrate in the background. Uh, they'll be getting appearances in the second so half if this score uh, is still the same at half time for sure. We're doing really well on legendary difficulty. I think it's just, it should have been the difficulty we were playing on the whole season, really. And uh, I'm enjoying playing on it a lot more than I was on, uh, Very quick thinking there. on World Class for sure. All paid as well. Timothy, Timothy Weah. We're all over these guys. Oh my god, horrible challenge by Kudus. Really? It's not even a free? I mean, I don't care, I'll take it, but it should have been a free in my opinion. Maupay turns his man! Terrible finish from Neil Maupay. Should be better. Oh no, Burnley are in! Good save from Carl Hine. Brilliant save from Carl Hine, it really was. And Everton are on the counter now. Ah, it's a terrible, terrible well, touch from uh, from Timothy Weah. Damn it. I tried to push it down the side, but he kind of went a little bit too far in the middle. All right. Oh, good save by Carl Hine. Good save by Carl Hine right before halftime. It would have been a terrible time to concede. So come on. Come on, Blues. We can give Michael Enko a rest for the rest of this game now. At halftime, I'm going to bring on Nkunku. Oh my god, off the crossbar. We're okay. Everybody stay calm. Everybody stay calm. Nobody needs to worry. And it's with John. Beautiful play. Well, how did that not go in? Garner finds Malpe. Malpe's all alone against three people here. For God's sake, guys, get forward with him. Alright, let's make a change. Let's make a change, Atu. I think I'm going to bring off Timothy Weah. You've done a good job, Timothy, but it's time for Lewis Dobbin. We'll swap Mudrick and Dobbin, put Dobbin out on the right. And I'm going to bring on Ellis Sims for Neil Mape as well. And uh, I think I'm going to bring on Warrington for Ganagay. And uh, we'll go with those three substitutions there. Uh, get the youngsters some game time there. An accurate cross. Well, this uh oh, them get back oh into the game. he's onside as well, is he? Bastard. 2-1. 
Damn it. See, this makes us nervy now with all the youngsters on the pitch. This is why I didn't want to do it uh, early, well, but um, I did. And I trust these youngsters, so let's get it done. Good tackle by Cody. Away. Jesus. Oh, lads, come on. Cody again is there. It's the only senior player on the pitch, it looks like, at the moment. And Burnley are all over us now, like a rash. But we're fine. We're fine. And here's Lewis Dobbin. Look at the speed of him. Dobbin, back from Udrick. Oh, it's a good block. That very easily could have been three. All right, come on, boys. Let's get the third. I'm feeling it now. Oh, brilliant. Here's Lewis Dobbin. Finds Mudrick. Mudrick coming on inside there. Picano Mudrick. Oh, it's a terrible shot in the end. Why did you try and hit it on your left? That was so strange, to be honest. Oh. Five minutes remaining. And one thing is certain, no one is leaving. Go on, Dobbin. Go on, Lewis Dobbin. Can we finish them off here? Dobbin cuts inside beautifully. Lewis Dobbin all the way. A beautiful solo goal from Lewis Dobbin to kill off Burnley in the 85th minute. This man is going to be a star. Trust me on that. Lewis Dobbin with a beauty. He's been brilliant for us. Absolutely brilliant. Lewis Dobbin scores the goal that seals Everton's entrance into the last 16 of the FA Cup. So we're in the in the semi-final of the Carabao Cup here, and we're about to do the second leg of that. And we're into the last 16 of the FA Cup, and we're in the top four of the Premier League. It doesn't get much better than that from Everton. Frank Lampard leading Everton to glory here. Beautiful stuff. And uh, that's game over. Now the action continues. No Told you I trusted those youngsters and they delivered for me. He's passed it right to Dobbin again now. And Dobbin finds Sims. And can Everton add insult to injury here? Ellis Sims, Lewis Dobbin again! Oh, he scores again! Lewis Dobbin is lighting Burnley on fire here. Oh my God, he's tearing him apart. Lewis Dobbin with two beautiful goals as well. 65 rated my ass, and he's assisted by Ella Sims, the man who's leaving on a free transfer. But there you go. He's finishing in style for the Toffees. What a goal that is, by the way. Lewis Dobbin, you beauty. What a finish. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous from Lewis Dobbin. He loves it. The Toffees love it. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Beautiful ball from Dobbin. Really beautiful. Oh, come on. I was through. <laughs> All right. 4-1 win for Everton. And we're through for the last 16 of the FA Cup. Lewis Dobbin has to be the man of the match, even though he came on in the second half. Yes, he is. Timothy Way had a great match. Kudus, Mike Galenko, Kyle John as well. Carl Hine as well. But there you go. Beautiful stuff. Deserved win. Maybe we didn't deserve to win 4-1. We deserve to win. And we're through. And we have Chelsea away in the league after this. Holy shit. Oh, no. Brighton have expressed an interest in signing Mason Holgate for a fee of 9.5 million. I mean, maybe. We'll delegate, actually. We'll delegate and start the offer at 15.5 million and don't sell for less than, we'll say, 10 million. 10.5 million, all right? Yes, we have scout reports for Ilanga and Victor Gokeras. 75 overall? Okay. He's better than the Sims, but I'm not sure that it's worth buying, really, if he's 25. Anthony Alanga, 78 overall. Okay. That's pretty good for his age, 21 years old. Pretty similar to Timothy Weah, though, so I think we would rather do a swap deal if we were going to do anything there. I'm tempted to try sound, sign Jao Pedro, because he's one for the future, you know? He's a young striker with huge potential. Because I do think we need another striker if Sims is leaving, like... Malpin, Calvert-Lewin, sure, they can do the job, but I, th I think having another striker in there would be, uh, would be massive. Especially if we want to go two up top, you know, we basically... Well, we, we have Werner who can cover at striker, to be fair, but I prefer him playing from the left wing. Mudrick's up to an 80 as well, which is nice to see. Let's try sign Jao Pedro for the future. We have a budget of 57 million, we might as well. 14 million value, he's 23, he's a little older. Same, pretty similar overall. Timothy Way as a right winger. We have more at, at the wingers than we do. Um, Timothy Way and 10 million. How about that? Let's try that and see what they say. Oh, they want Maul paying 7 million. Really? I'm tempted. <laughs> I'm tempted. 
We're getting in a much younger player, pretty similar overall and much higher potential, you know, than Neil Mopé. I like Mopé, don't get me wrong, but I think this is a good overall deal for us. Fuck it, let's go for it. Let's do it. Screw it, you know? I mean, I feel like it's a good, good deal for both teams. Especially us. <laughs> rotation, sure. That's fine with me. And he only wants rotation. Holy shit. Okay, let's go four years. How about that? Yeah, that's fine. No release clause, of course. That's fine with me. And now he wants 38,000. Low wages, too? Like, come on. This is a genius deal here. This is absolutely genius. Jao Pedro, welcome to the club. What a swap deal that is. We paid them 7 million extra, but I think that's a, that's a small price to pay for such a young, talented player. And there he is holding up the jersey. Is he there with Frank? He is indeed. Jao Pedro, welcome to the team, buddy. All right, Jao Pedro goes straight onto the bench. Other than that, I think we're, uh, we're going to leave it the same. So we might still need another striker because now we only have Calvert-Lewin and Jao Pedro. But Werner, I think Werner's adequate cover for striker as well. And we have more wingers that can cover Werner. So I think we're actually fine, to be honest. We might need a new center back now, though. Because I might maybe rec recall Brantwaite from his loan because we only have Godfrey as cover at center back now. I, I want at least two center backs there. So let's see how, God uh, how he's progressing, actually. Jared Brantwaite. I might cancel his loan deal. Recall him from a loan. Everton can do it in real life. I can do it in FIFA. Jared Branthway. He's still only a 72 on loan at Trabs on Spore. So I feel like maybe not making as good progress as we would like. Harrison Allison up to a 74. No. He's not that happy over there either, is he? His morale isn't that happy. Let's bring him back. Let's recall Jared Branthway from his loan for 50,000 and get him in the, uh, get him back in the team. All right. He's back with us now. Back with the Toffees. Dwight McNeil's on loan at AC Milan. I completely forgot about that, to be honest. <laughs> James Tarkovsky is good. His contract's good. Godfrey's not happy with his playtime, but his contract is good. Kudus is not happy about any of this. Ooh. Maybe we should give Kudus a new contract. Let's delegate renewal here. Usually, yeah, usually you get pretty, pretty simply. 67,000, okay. Niels and Kunku, let's delegate a renewal for him. Start the wage offer at 20,000. Oh, he just accepted 20,000. You can just lower it, honestly. All right. I think we're sorted on the contract front now. Let's play Chelsea. Let's do this thing. It's going to be a fun match. All right. Godfrey's going straight in. Other than that, I think we're going to leave the team as is. I don't think we're going to make any changes there. All right. Probably the most important match of the season, boys. Here we go. Let's get it. Let's freaking get it. The main focus, Ciro Immobile. The competition that is not Ciro Immobile. That is not Ciro Immobile. That is Christian Pulisic. <laughs> but whatever. Ciro Immobile is probably going to destroy us. I think he scored the goal in the first uh, leg, did he? Oh, Mendy starting. Okay. Come on, Blues. Massive game. We got a good result away from home against Chelsea. Werner against his former club now. Can he come back to haunt them? Oh, I hope so. I hope so. Pulisic against his former club again as well, I forgot. But he already played them. And what we threw? Oh my god! Mendy was out so quickly. I wasn't actually expecting to get through. I would have shot earlier if I was, but I just wasn't expecting to get through all those bodies. It was a beautiful piece of skill from, uh, from Alex Iwobi. What a tackle by Onana, good lord. That's kind of a typical Onana tackle in real life as well. Let's see if he can do it again. Not quite. Godfrey's there anyway. We're going to have to defend diligently in this game, I think. Werner gets dispossessed by his former teammate, Rhys James. Good lord, lads, come on, come on. Get it off, Mason! Mason better not come back to to haunt his dad Lampard, all right? Of course, he's a great finisher. Pulisic over the top for Calvert Lewin. Beautiful. Calvert Lewin could be in here. That's a sensational goal. That's a sensational goal. Calvert Lewin gives Everton the lead in the Carabao Cup semi-final, and that 
could be the goal that sends them through to the final. What a ball by Pulisic. What a control by Calvert-Lewin. What a finish by Calvert-Lewin. Beautiful stuff. Absolutely beautiful stuff. It came out of nothing as well. Out of absolutely nothing. Everton have got the lead in this game, baby. Come on. Huge. Mendy can't believe it. Chelsea can't believe it. They've been shook here by Calvert-Lewin. He scored against Chelsea before in his career. And he's haunting them here again. Oh, bad tackle by Tarkovsky. Don't give him a red. Okay, thank God. All right. We're fine. Everybody stay calm. We're leading this tie as it stands right now. No way. How does that even happen? What a save, Jordan Pickford. Don't know how that happened, but... Whoa! Jesus, what the hell just happened with that shot? It was like 100 miles an hour from Raheem Sterling. But Pickford is there to save it again. Short Go on, Jordan taken. Pickford, my hero. The the tackle Paulinha. Away! Oh, good block well, by Mike Galenko. Pickford claws it away, and Chelsea chance. are on the verge oh, of equalizing the here. Corner. Come on, boys. No, no, no. You stay in there, Godfrey. You stay in there. Take oh, short. my God. They both went back, you morons. I wanted one to come out and I wanted one to go back, but they both did it both times. And fuck it out there, just absolutely all over us here. Immobile is going for a tear. Good lord, I'm scared. I'm scared. Who can he pick out? Burner clears it. It will be surely no. Come on, lads, we need to get it out of our half again. Saved by Pickford. This is insanity right now. Absolute insanity. Come on, boys, for goodness sake. And deciding to go short with this Great one. tackle by Paulinha. Beautiful Paulinha tackle by Paulinha. Running down the clock here. We just need to get to half time now, honestly. I'm tempted to go defensive already. <laughs> Bring on Jared Branthwaite and go defensive. Great tackle by Paulinha again. And Sterling is getting man marked out of it by Paulinha here. They're going short on every corner. It's just not working. But this time they go long. Calvert Lewin. Ah, lads, come on. Just get the ball out for the love of God. Paulinha does. And Werner now can escape. And finally, Everton can attack Chelsea, maybe on the counter here. Calvert-Lewin gets it through for Timo Werner. Could this be a classic counter-attack here? Timo Werner across the goal. Pulisic was coming in. It was nearly Chelsea to Chelsea connection there with Werner to Pulisic, but not quite. This is a high, high tempo game right now. Now with this is crazy. Reese James now on the counter for Chelsea. Chelsea moving the ball forward. What Great tackle by Mike Alenko. Beautiful. We're not getting the halftime at 1 1, are we? Oh my God, we are. Pickford boots it up there. Come on, Dom. Chase it down. Chase it down, Dom. That should be halftime. 1 0. 2 1 on aggregate. Good Lord. What a half of football that was. I don't know how we survived without Chelsea scoring. I really don't. Pickford is a large reason for it. And Michael Anko with a great tackle there. That will see us off to halftime. Beautiful stuff, boys. As you can see, Chelsea have the better of the game so far, but we're the ones leading the tie. The expected goals is heavily in Chelsea's favour, but it doesn't matter because the actual scoreboard is in our favour. What a tackle by Tarkovsky. Absolutely had to be perfect as well. He's already on a yellow. And that was hugely important. Pulisic absolutely does him. He does chill well. And Patterson right keeps that in. Keep that I don't think Koulibaly expected that. Nathan Patterson cuts back, finds Pulisic. And Everton are on the counter it here. Oh, Nana. Oh. Poor. Poor shot in the end. It's not over yet. This attack is not over yet. On the internet about Leicester City. And they have finally got their man. The transfer has officially gone through. Well, I think he'll fit in well That's a fucking red card. Oh, no. He turned back at the very wrong moment. And the referee has shown him a second yellow card. That will be it for him. Well, his manager will be absolutely furious. Oh, I am stupid. I am stupid. I don't know what I was thinking. I got away with it with the first tackle. And I was overconfident because of that. But now we're in real trouble. We're in real trouble now. Jesus Christ. All right, Brantwaite has to come on, I guess. But who am I going to bring him on for? A Wobi, I guess I'll sacrifice. Oh. Pulisic. Pulisic. If we could get another one on the counter here. Jesus, that would ease our uh, ease our last few minutes. And Pulisic is going for it. Oh my God, Mendy makes the save. I thought for a second I could potentially get it off. But not to be. All right, come on, boys. Keep pushing. Chelsea facing Everton. Yes, Patterson. You beautiful Scott. 
Albert Lewin does well. He's fouled. He's fouled. Oh. Oh. Oh my God. Advantage. Pulisic could be in here. He's all alone though. Christian Pulisic. Yes. Come on. We're going to the final. Come on. Oh my God. Christian Pulisic comes back to haunt Chelsea. Oh my God. I was actually ready to have the free kick. I was like, ah, whatever. But you know what? We took the advantage. Fair play referee. And we bang it in there, baby. Come on. Lampard against his former club. So many people coming up against their former club here. But it's absolutely brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. Everton are heading to the final of the Carabao Cup to face West Ham. Or was it Crystal Palace, I think? So we have a huge chance to win a trophy here. We probably will never get a chance like this again as Patterson does unbelievable work again. And he finds Paulinha. Paulinha finds Pulisic, which was the combination that got us the goal last time. Pulisic finds Timo Werner. We're running down the clock now. Nathan Patterson does well. Finds Pulisic. Pulisic. Oh, tries to get it to Calvert-Lewin, but not quite. Paulinha does well. Mike Galenko cuts in. But I'm going to bring on Joe Pedro now, I think. I'm going to bring on Joe Pedro for his, uh, for his debut here against Chelsea to run the clock down. And I'll bring on Timothy Weah as well um, to try and get some shit done as well for Pulisic and Mudrik for Werner. Just get fresh legs on there. And, uh, and burn it up here, boys. Garner on for Onana as well. Come on, boys. Let's go. First touch. Paulinho could be in here. Oh, what a save by Mendy. What a save by Mendy. I thought for sure that was three. I thought for sure that was three. I'm just going to run the clock down. Mikhailo Mudrik comes. Greet us here. Joe Pedro! Saved by Mendy! He nearly gets his goal. Oh. Remember, Chelsea have to score two now in two minutes. It's basically over. Ten man Everton have done it here. They've held on and they've done some more than hold on. They've scored on the counter and made it 2 0, and this is absolutely sensational. Timothy Weya tackles. Joe Pedro. Joe Pedro. Pedro finds Weah. Can they get another one here? It's looking more likely than Chelsea scoring. Joe Pedro on his debut. What a save. Oh, my God. What a save by Mendy. They don't want Joe Pedro to score on his debut. It's insanity. Brantway wins it. And that's going to be game, set, match. Everton are through to the final. Bloody hell. Bloody hell, as Ron Weasley would say. Absolutely brilliant, mate. Come on, that's massive. Blow it up, ref. Blow it up. Go on! The referee's whistle and we're Everton through to, to the, the final. final. Yeah, I think they were comfortably the better side. Oh my god, games. Kepa can't they believe it. And they the Unbelievable stuff. Oh, um Believe Bull. Tarkovsky got a red card, but it didn't matter in the end. Everton held on, got the W. Christian Pulisic was the man of the match by a long, long way with a goal and an assist to help Everton through to the final of the Carabao Cup. I say once again, the final. Unbelievable stuff. And we're playing... Oh no, West Ham and Crystal Palace haven't played yet. Okay, I was about to say we're playing one or the other, but West Ham have the advantage in the first leg. We'll see who we're playing um, eventually here. Tarkovsky transfer offer, you can get fucked so you can. Tarkovsky is going to have a one match ban though. I mean, you literally just, just came here and I gave you one game, Joe Pedro. So, re so maybe relax a little bit, okay? Calm down a little bit on that one. But anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. This was an absolutely outrageously brilliant video to start, uh, to start 2023. Uh, it's crazy to actually think it's 2023, madness. Tarkovsky, get fucked. All right, loan to buy for Warrington. I'm going to reject that. Anyway, there you go. Thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. We'll be playing Chelsea again in the next video, and they're two points ahead of us in second place, so we can go back into second place if we beat Chelsea again. But it's going to be tough back-to-back -back games at Stamford Bridge. is never uh, the easiest thing in the world. We're three points clear of Liverpool, though, so even if... Um, we get a point out of it. We'll stay ahead of Liverpool no matter what. I want to see who we're playing in the final, though. All right, Chelsea in the league. Then it's deadline day. Oh, it's West Ham. It's West Ham. 
West Ham in the final of the Carabao Cup. It won't be in the next video, though. We'll be playing Chelsea, Aston Villa and Brentford in the next video. And then we'll have West Ham in the final, Southampton away and Watford at home. OK, Bournemouth, Norwich, Sheffield United, three very winnable games, all three in a row at home. Four home games in a row to Watford, Bournemouth, Norwich and Sheffield United. What the fuck? That's the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Not an easy finish to the season. Away to Man City, away to Forest, and home to Arsenal. All right, that's where I'll end the video. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. Um, banging FIFA video to start the year, and I hope they're all as good as this one. I absolutely loved it. Hope you guys did too. See you next year. Nope. See you next video is what I meant to say. If I see you next year, that would be a long wait. Thanks for watching. See you next time.